What a start. What a shot. What a reply. He makes contact, and in the end, he has cut the margin. Great effort. Have a look at this bowl. Done it. He has produced in the moment. One champion has been crowned and a second is about to be as the men's singles final at the Australian Indoor Championships of 2023 ensues. Ray Pearce is taking on Darren Gordon. It's uh, Taron Point against Dunkeld, New South Wales versus Victoria here at Club Tweed. Val Febo here with you and joining me as he has done throughout the entirety of the semi-finals and finals is the one and only right at home, Jack Aru. Barry Lester, thank you for joining me again, mate. Looking forward to this one. Yeah, good afternoon, Val. I'm very excited about this game. It's sort of the uh, underda um, underdog sort of approach with, with Darren coming out of qualifying, sort of a bit of a club champion, well-known boy around Dunkeld area, and then you've got Ray Pearce, international. So the, the underdog spirit will be flying high in Darren's mind and the people that know him well. But he looks relaxed. He's definitely having a bit of fun out there. And then you've got Ray Pearce, polished performer and a class player. So it's going to be a great game, mate. It certainly is, and well, this is what we're playing for, the beautiful trophy that the, uh, that the winner gets here at Club Tweed. It's all crystallised, and have a look at that, the Australian Indoor Singles Champion. Look at some of the names on that trophy. Steve Glasson has won it nine times, and one of these two men looking to put their name on the trophy for the first time. This is the final match of the day. We had Ray get through uh, his semi this morning, and uh, he defeated Chris Couchman. The journey to the final saw Darren Gordon overcome Greg Brown in three sets yesterday. Two tight ones and then a tiebreaker. He was actually down in that breaker yesterday, um, having gone down 1-0 early on. And Ray Pierce, uh, that was a tight match this morning. It was so close. A tied first set. He said himself that he was a bit scratchy, but he got through and did exactly what he needed to do. It was a brilliant performance from him to find a way through. And he is uh, he's going to be looking for another national title. He's won a plethora of them around the country. He's an absolute superstar. He's a champion of champions winner, Australian Open pairs champion, and an Australian singles champion. He is a very, very accomplished player. He's the 39-year-old from New South Wales, and his opponent uh, from Dunkeld, Darren Gordon, former district champion of champions winner and a semi-finalist in the Victorian Open pairs of 2022. Uh, Baz, this is, uh, it, it, you're right, it is a bit of an underdog story, but the way that he performed yesterday, especially at the back end of um, of certain ends, he was uh, he was sensational. Yeah, he was, and I like the, the sort of carefree attitude, just going out and having some fun, enjoying what the experience lies in front of him. So looking forward to some carefree bowls and some fun from Darren and some ap absolute class from Ray Pearce. Exactly right. Well, two sets, nine ends, and a three-end tiebreaker. That is what is going to decide this deciding uh, match of the tournament. This final, the men's singles final, massive title up for grabs here. And the three-end tiebreak was needed for Darren Gordon's semi-final yesterday. And Ray Pierce didn't need it this morning, but it was a one-end shootout pretty much because it was seven all with an end to play in the second set, having uh, deadlocked the first with Chris Couchman. So he performed in a tight situation this morning and really converted himself well. It was absolutely sensational to watch. And there's a reason why he's been in this position so many times, Ray Pierce. And uh, Darren Gordon certainly does have his work cut out for him. But the way that he's played throughout the week has been absolutely fantastic. And uh, looking forward to hearing what they both have to say because Barry Lester's got them both down there right now. Yeah, I sure do. Thanks, Val. Uh, Ray Pierce, you've won so many big events. You're a multiple Australian title winner. But what would this win today in the Australian Indoor mean to you? Just with the prestige of uh, you know, the Australian Indoor, uh, there's a lot of great players that have won this event in the past, uh, and to get my name onto that list would, would mean a lot. And this morning you came out and Chris played a tremendous game against you this morning. What do you think you need to do differently? What could you work on from this morning's game to go to that next level for this final? It's all about the first ball. You put the pressure on, uh, give it a good chance, um, and if I'm finishing past the jack, just give myself some more options if I am down playing my last ball. And there's a good crowd in here now for the final. Uh, what are you trying to do? Do you try and deliberately block that out or do you try and use it to your strength, really embrace the, the circumstance you're in? Well, hopefully the crowd gets involved. You know, bowls uh, can be a bit of a quiet sport, but uh, 
Yeah, don't be scared to get involved. <laughs> That's what we want to hear. Well, good luck, Ray. All the best today. And they very good. We got them revved up already. Good job there, Ray. Uh, so, Darren, your first time, you know, playing in a big Australian Open final. How are you going to approach it today? I just enjoy the day. Everything else will work itself out if I enjoy it. Doesn't matter if I lose, doesn't matter if I win, just as long as I enjoy it. And I'm sure you've got a big contingent of followers back home from Dunkow getting right behind you. What have been some of the messages you've been hearing from back home? Hey, that's, a, that's a good question, actually. I'm not going to repeat some of the messages. Uh, just uh, embrace today. You know, as Ray's has said, you know, embrace it, your name up on the, some of the best bowls in Australia. So just, as I said, just enjoy the day. Wishing you all the best. Go out and enjoy yourself, play well, and have some fun. Val, so we're seeing Darren there just rubbing the sweat off a bit of a sweaty palm there. Both players really excited about this match. I can't wait, and I'm sure you can't either. Certainly cannot wait, Barry Lester, as we, uh, as we commence this battle. But this, these are the names that both of these two combatants are looking to join on the, uh, on the honour roll here. Steve Glasson, who's won it nine times. Jeremy Henry with three. Calvin Kirko, Ian Schubach and Rex Johnston have all won it twice. Dennis Katunovic, uh, Trevor Morris, Dennis Dalton, Leif Selby, Ian Taylor, Anthony Keeby, Brett Wilkie, Mark Casey, David Ferguson, Aaron Tees and Aaron Sheriff. Just some of the names that have hoisted this trophy aloft as we get underway with the jack roll and Ray Pierce is going to lead things off. He seemed very relaxed. A bit of nerves there from Darren Gordon coming through but if he does enjoy it, who knows if he can play it in a relaxed nature Barry Lester things can go your way. Yeah, I noticed in the roll up, uh, Ray Pierce, Matt on the tee in the roll up and a long jack and He's done that straight away and, well, a ball inside a foot. You can't ask for much more than that in an Australian indoor singles final. So that's a clear tactic of Ray's. Long end, trying to test Darren out early. So, a bit short there, but the line was good from Darren Gordon. So it's enough for him to work with in terms of how to correct both of the sets in this morning's final or both of the, uh, yeah both of the sets were not played out in their fullest with uh, only eight ends required for Samantha Atkinson to get things done in each set yeah so clear plan uh, from Ray Pierce long end he was just chatting uh, earlier about just missing his weight in the previous game and he said you know Chris played what he thought was a bit better than him, but he just needed to find his weight as Darren lands. Well, he doesn't land, but he quarters off yep. in the area. But yeah, it was clear that he said he wanted to get his weight better. And he felt that maybe finding a new length might be the key. So the, here we see already a 34, 35 meter length. And he's got two out of three that are fairly close. So one on and two behind sets him up quite well so far mentality of Ray Pierce as well is wonderful and it's great to see because you know, chatting to him before someone came over to him and said good luck today hopefully it's a good day and he goes it will be a good day he's confident and he believes in himself which is so important but Darren Gordon he's here for a reason he's going to go through there again not a bad home switching hands yeah and that's that can be be an interesting call early on. Uh, Darren's gone forehand, forehand, and then switched to the backhand and and sort of nearly wasted that bowl, although he was just fractionally high, but he uh, wasn't far off getting the shot with his second bowl. So just trying to see that rhythm and continuity, four bowls the same, ideally early on. But if your opponent's forcing the switch, you just got to play out what you see. So can Ray try and change this jack high situation? Take the shot away from Darren. Just try and put one in the way or another one in there. So he's just going to slide around. It's going to count. It is. So holding two. And now that's going to go up to three. Uh, round of applause for Ray Pierce. As those white speckle bowls dominate the head at the moment. Let's see what Darren Gordon has in reply. Because this is already a big statement from Ray Pierce. Yeah, no doubt. Three really good bowls. If Darren clears the front here with enough weight, he's going to be in the mix here. It's tight. Yeah, 
just catching. So Ray Pierce stretched his opponent out early and it's worked. Clear game plan. Didn't walk, walk into the game thinking and hoping something will work in his favour. He set the tone with a long end and scored three. He's been thinking for two hours as Ray Pierce and been thinking about what his strategy is going to be. He would have watched the semi-final yesterday, seen the strengths and weaknesses of Darren Gordon, but that mat is right back on the tee. And Ray Pierce, he's a master tactician in singles, isn't he, Barry? And that's right, Val, tactician. You know, you can go out and play good or bad or average. You've got to have a clear game plan. You can't go out and wing it, not at this level. Ray Pierce, mat on the tee, Jack one metre off. So almost ditch to ditch, and there's no hesitating what hand to play. It's it's already been planned out. It's going to be backhand to the club, and try and back up a really good performance in that first end. So just indicating it's a bit quick. He can get it behind though. He's got the line pretty well. You might see a little wry smile from Ray there, as in. He's tried to get that jack on the tee. And it's funny how when you don't quite get the jack on the tee and your first bowl's on the tee, you, you blame yourself for a yeah. bad bad jack roll. But but it's not a bad home to be in. Yeah, it's good. Especially if that jack gets hit away or out of bounds, of course, in this re-spot format. But that's a really nice settler there for Darren Gordon. Gets himself close. Yeah, really good. Ray doesn't have to change much. You know, no, doesn't want to overcorrect. Just something similar. Just flirt with this head now. A little touch. Sit the bowl. That's not a bad reply. Still just down. 18 inches short. So he's got his line absolutely spot on. Will it be third time the charm for Ray Pierce with his next delivery? But Darren Gordon will try and ensure that he can't do much about what he's done here. Let's see where it ends. Forehand, little switch. Needs to arrive. Going to fall a yard short. And how many times, Val? We've seen it so this, many times. This direction. This hand, yeah. That side of the rink. It's it's a very popular spot a yard short in this direction. Look at that body language from Ray. He's, He's up after this. so switched on today, isn't he? He's got a real spring in his step. Promote his own bowl. It's close. Fall in. Just out. Again, very, very, very close. But he's given himself options here, Ray Pierce. And if Darren Gordon can't get one close, it's an opportunity maybe to get rid of that blue bowl, possibly. Yeah, two seconds. Darren wants to get another one in there. This is looking tight. But if he can promote his own bowl, maybe there's a chance. Okay, Ray Pierce. You see that? Just the advantages of following your bowl. Good look at the head. Forehand. Sit the bowl. Make three if he gets it neat. Or trail the jack backhand. If he trails the jack, he can still get three as well. He's looked very switched on early in this contest as Ray Pierce. Yeah, I think he knows he's got to probably just bring it a touch more this match than, than his this morning's yeah. game. So forehand with weight. Looking for the shot bowl. He's going for it. Jogging in after. He wants it to move. Oh, he's given it away. Yeah. No, he's, he's still one down. He's still one down. I think. Yes, one to blue. So in the area, probably just a bowl high. Good to get one of those shots away early, though, just yep. to play that runner, get a good feel for some, some weighted shots. Yep, he wasn't far off. Darren's got about mm, only about 10 to 11 inches to count here. He's trying hard, Darren Gordon. This is close. Oh, what a line. So he's on the board. And... A 3-1 lead to Ray Pierce in this 2023 Australian Indoor Championships men's singles final. Neither of these two have won this tournament before. Ray Pierce has lost a couple of semi-finals. Of course, 
I know the great Clive Adams always talks about the semi-final that he played against him. Good afternoon to you, Clive, if you are watching. Yeah, what a game that was. Bowl for bowl, end after end. Uh, Darren clearly not trying to play a similar length to what Ray has just played the first two. Matt up, Jack Short, 24 metres. Both players just going to finish pass here. Ray might have some jack action on the way through, though. Not quite. Just passed. Good home. So, Ray Pierce holding sway so far. And re re correction required here. It's only going to be about a yard to four feet. He's just overdone it here, Darren. But it might do for shot, and it will. I think he's gone closer. I dare say Ray Pierce will have something to say about it. He'll have final bowl, of course, in this end. Just missing high. I don't think he'd be too worried about his weight there, just more so the line wanting to fall over. So Darren Gordon, if he can find two feet, he'll nail this. Looks pretty good from where we are. Got a fraction more on it. A bit higher, though. Ray Pierce knows how to do it on the big stage. He's represented Australia on many occasions before, not to mention the Bowls Premier League, the Australian Open. Doing it at the BPL is... I think it's such an advantage in these sorts of matches, isn't it, Baz? Because you're under lights here on TV. You've got a massive crowd surrounding you. Um, you know, how important is it to have that experience for Ray? Yeah, that's right. He's got all that experience. I like TV as well. I like that switch too. So he knew that if he didn't draw it, he'd be sort of maybe getting into Darren's eye, but just sailing through a yard, but still opens up the trail for him if he wants to play for that. Darren has tried to draw another one here. It's getting down. He's done enough, but... Ooh, a little turtle fell on its back. <laughs> fell on its back. That's the first one we've seen. Yep. Little pineapple, and it's gone down. So, very interesting now to see what Ray Pierce can do. He's down a couple. He's up 3-1. Just to avoid allowing Darren Gordon to get to level pegging here. Of course, the title on the line, prestigious title at that, and the opportunity to dom the green and gold in Guernsey next year. April 21 to 27, the World Bowls Indoor Championships. This one is tight. Does it hold? Yes. Gets a little bit of luck. <laughs> and he gives a little facial expression to show that. Yeah, look, um, a couple of little slides there, but yeah. to raise credit, loved the speed, and he was probably an inch off perfect. So he, if he just clears the front, he was trailing it anyway. But a couple of little slides. Sometimes you just need it to go your way, and it did. And that is literally um, the saying, he was in the area, one of the most popular sayings you hear in bowls, yep. especially someone that's uh, got a bit fortunate, yep. uh, the old they were in the area, I was in the area, and that's true. Ray was, when you're talking millimetres or inches off being perfect, you got to run with that. Uh, so, good shot by Ray. In the area, as they say, and two down to one up. And he's got the length back. Here we go again. So this is a clear tactic from Ray Pierce now. End, or T to T. Long ends to try and bring the Darren Gordon game unstuck. And what a start it is. It's as and good as it gets. He is right at home in these long lengths. He's right at home. A proud partner of the Jackaroos. The naming rights partner and looking forward to see seeing the right at home Jackaroos in action at the World Bowls Championships. August 29 things kick off. The best of the world coming to the Gold Coast. Five clubs. <laughs> Gordon, not a bad effort. Yeah, so it's opposite sides at the moment. Ray trying to back it up here. Promote his shot bowl. 
or we'll get down to the jack. He's done this well here. Just needs to keep creeping. I'm sure all the members back at Tarrant Point Bowls Club, all the social members are down there on a Thursday afternoon. The patrons of the mighty Tarrant Point Bowls Club will be enjoying this action on the big screen. I'll be watching, that's for sure. Louise Cronin bowls out of Tarrant Point as well. Yeah. She was here this week. Took on Kelsey Cottrell in the second round. Darren Gordon, it, you know, he's one rotation of a bowl out of shot there. Yeah. One full resolution. And yeah, and, and that's just where this, this sport is at. You know, you can be inches or millimetres of perfection. And Darren Gordon's played two cracking lines. Just needs to tidy up the weight with his second one. Ray changes this up on him. Looks to be under. He's holding. Well, it's wait time, I feel. Aaron Gordon, yep. two down and two thirds. He's shown an eagerness to, sh to play wait. We saw that yesterday, and he's gone for it. What's this doing? Well, he's stays up, he's going to have the backest bowl. Drifting, drifting, drifting. Well, he still has the backest bowl, but that bowl's gone into yep. the ditch. So Ray's, Ray knows now. Darren's got that in his armory. There's a weighted shot in there. He's got to be conscious of that. Backhand for Ray Pierce. Trotting behind it. How's this, Barry? He's not going to reach, but he doesn't want to make it bigger. Okay, so it's still a two-bowl target, jack and bowl. I still think it's attack time for Darren. Jack in the ditch. Did he try and just get rid of those three bowls? Yeah, but the key is here, forehand. Yeah. So you don't want to be backhand, clean your own out. It's got to be forehand with weight. If he's a bowl tight, he cleans out the bowls. If he's on target, he gets the jack in the ditch. If he gets the kill, he makes... Probably one on the respot. He's close here. Forehand. Look, he likes it. Looking for the bowl and the jack. Wow. Oh, wow. Two down. Two down. down. He got rid of his closest, but no immediate harm done. So two more added to the Ray Pierce total. Here we see it. Forehand. Big weight. Right down the rink. Right down the centre. Looking for it at all bowls. And he's actually clipped off the third bowl clean of Ray's. Any thicker touch could have got them all. So 6-1. We saw this morning Samantha Atkinson against Reese Finn Young. Her first four ends in the first set saw her advance to a 7-0 lead. In the second set, it was 7-0 after three. Ray Pierce 6-1 ahead after four and continuing with this trend of long lengths. It's bringing the Darren Gordon game unstuck at the moment. Not that he's playing badly, but Ray Pierce is right at home and he's happy and comfortable. And there's no doubt about Ray Pierce is one of the best rhythm players going around. You know, once he strikes that rhythm, finds a length he's happy with, it's a case of just trying to hang around. And Ray, from the get-go, was, I'm going long. Darren, you're going to have to come with me, mate. And so far, it's worked for Ray. As we see, Darren... Just missing under the line and slightly heavy, but that's okay. That's a bowl that he's at least given a chance and is in the game. So, Ray Pierce, his line has been excellent in this match so far, in the four ends that we've seen. It's been a couple that he's missed slightly, but he's looking very good. This one is close. Yeah, lovely shot. So Darren now with that jack high situation bowl of Ray's. Got to be just confident again. Arrive just over the draw. Try and sit. Try and trail. He's on a high line. He's probably just pushed it a fraction too high. Don't think he's going to get back in time. And Ray Pierce, you see that beautiful release, that forward flowing body weight. Does something quite unique. Even though quite a, probably a few modern players do do it. The left hand traditionally would be on the knee at 
release. Ray has it sort of floating above his knee or his thigh. And that's where he feels his best balance. It reminds me of Richard Corsi, the great Scottish international. One of the best players the world's ever seen. Richard Corsi, Ray Pearce, another one. And just having that hand away from the knee, creating that even balance. So Darren Gordon. He's put the pressure on early, hasn't he, Ray Pearce? He's... Needs to get through here, Darren. Doesn't want to crash on that. All right, so that that definitely makes Ray think now. But has to be back. He's three down at the back. Yes, he's lying two. And it's a very tactical shot now. Position is everything. Do you try and get the actual tee, or do you go to where you're, you're a, you know, a, a multiple down, which is out between the back two blue? This is this is where it's a game of chess. What's he done here? Barry, he, I think he's going for the T. I think high, but T. Yeah. So inside this blue bowl here. Dust doesn't want to center it. Doesn't want to get in the middle of this bowl. He probably doesn't have, he doesn't have the T, I don't think. Looks as though that's going to be Darren Gordon's. So any jack movement here for Darren Gordon. Attacking. He doesn't want his own. Well, Darren Gordon. <laughs> that's, that's four. That is huge. I think it's four. Is the front one in? Looks. I reckon this looks like a four. Because bearing in mind Ray Pierce's last bowl knocked it away, that is that has got to be a four. Our marker, Rodney Bates from Yarra Glen Bowls Club, holds up three paddles. Yeah, not quite in. For me, I, I couldn't even actually start to call what Darren was about to play because he was already on the map playing it. Was um, it too, a bit too quick, do you think? For me, if um, yeah, if you could sort of time time his routine, um, that was definitely one of the faster approaches to the mat and deliveries we've seen. Um, no matter whether you're winning, you're losing, or things are good or things are bad, you've got to sustain and maintain that routine and that tempo. Um, a lot of players, it's, um, things get a bit tough or... There's a bit of scoreboard pressure. They can lose that routine. So it'd be good to see Darren just settle here. There's a long way to go in this game. Just settle, get right back into your routine. A few deep breaths. Ray's bowl's just finishing. Darren's already on the mat. Just starting to rush a little. And I think you could tell at the start he was, he was a bit nervous. He's just got to sort of settle things. You're right, Baz. But Ray Pierce is going to continue with his own rhythm and his own method. Darren Gordon. Nice reply, Darren. That's good. What I like about Darren is, see, even in behind the mat now, he's just enjoying being here. He was a bit like that when I spoke to him today. He just said, Barry, I'm, I'm just loving the environment, loving the experience, and enjoying every moment of it. And that's why we need people out there across Australia. As Ray Pierce draws the shot. Anti your qualifying. It's as simple as that. Fill out a form online, turn up to your qualifying, and over a couple of days, uh, you could be on your way to Tweed Heads.
after, but finish in an area that's got some value. And that's it there. Yep. That's a good shot. Good, good home as well. Just the one down. I need to work with for Darren Gordon. Ray Pierce, what can he do to continue to apply the pressure here? Talk about a way to correct. He said this morning in the post-match when you spoke to him, Barry, that he was really scratchy. And I spoke to him after the match as well, and he said the similar thing. He said that Chris Couchman was probably the better bowler this morning. And he's just come out, and he has zoned in to perfection. Yeah, and, and that's you know, kudos to to Chris, who played really super bowls. Um, you know, came down to two or three conversions here or there for... Uh, for both players to either execute or, or to get. And Ray stood up and played a couple of big ones when it mattered. But well done to Chris. His effective rate, especially on the draw, was super high. And Ray's come out just with a clear game plan. He's just, you know what? I scratched around a little bit this morning. I'm going to play one of my favourite lengths and see if I can get the job done here. And so far, so good. Yep. He's such an accomplished singles player, is Ray Pierce. He's always thereabouts. And for anybody in any draw, you see Ray Pierce's name near yours and you're immediately worried. And oh, he's pulled that one, yep. Aaron. Well, that will do for the opening set. Now, Mark here, Rodney Bates has indicated that he reckons it's three to Ray Pierce. We think the same. They'll go down and confirm it. That'll be the end of the set with two ends to spare. Ray Pierce has got one hand on the trophy. That's it for the opening set. He was absolutely magnificent, Ray Pierce, and he takes it 14 to 1. Absolutely clinical from the New South Welshman. And let's have a look at some of the highlights and what Ray Pierce was able to do. Two down, that was the third end there. He was two down on the verge of being three all. And one up, Ray Pierce. There was a big drive there from Darren Gordon. Just missed out. Conceded a big total there, and Ray Pierce was able to go on with things. And you, know, you look at the scores that he that he reached in that set. There was a three, a two, a three, a two, and a three. And just the one single for Ray Pierce from the seven ends that we played. And that was to save a two. Yeah, that's that critical mass we spoke about last game. Just getting bowls in the area, creating a bit of pressure, and then having your opposition run at the head and miss. That's where the numbers come from. And it's usually developed by that front end pressure as Darren Gordon plays exactly what he needed. First bowl of his second set. Side touch up. Ray Pierce, great weight with his first. Just a bowl high for what he was after. Just needs to make the correction here. Not far away. Just needs to hang a touch for him. Oh, that's a good reply. Almost. Darren Gordon holding sway. New set, you can refresh. This is the best thing about sets play because you might be absolutely belted in a set. But he's come out and his first bowl was excellent. Now, what can he do with his second here, Darren Gordon? Yeah, we see it so many times in sets play. You can win as by as much as you like in one set. But if you don't do it for two, you're off to a tiebreaker. And okay. we see it in tennis too, yeah, Val. You exactly. know, you, you win six love, you might lose the next set exactly. six love. And, and then all of a sudden you're six all. So it just goes to show you've got to be in it the whole time. 100%. And, you know, you look back to, unfortunately, I hate to bring it up, but that 2019 Wimbledon final where... Roger Federer won more games, more points, more everything than Novak Djokovic, but he lost those three tiebreakers. You just have to zone in and continue to apply the pressure. Yeah, and Darren's played a good end here. One on, one behind. You know, he, he's given himself a good chance to pick up a multiple and also not give away one the way his bowls are positioned. So, so that goes in behind as well. So he... He's staring down the barrel of a two or three if he yeah. plays it right now. It's a good head construction here from Darren Gordon. And Ray, Ray really might puff, puff his chest out here and say, you know what, I've got the tee. I've got a three-bowl target. 
I might just get stuck into this, um, you know, get the bowl through the back stuff, or I might try and play a neat little trail. It depends how Ray's feeling. You know, if he dislodges those two first and second shot bowls, he goes down one, but you just don't know. It, it really depends on how he's feeling here, or he just tries to play a neat draw shot on the backhand, take that shot away from, from Darren. Yeah, so I was sort of sensing forehand runner. Here we go. Forehand with weight, looking for the shot bowl. Or the jack. He's close. He's not far away at all, Barry. Needs to be good now. Needs to go with it. And he has. Oh, my word. It is so good. Completely different line now for Darren Gordon to have to work with. He's got room there, but Ray Pierce just continues to ask the question, what has Darren Gordon got in reply, Barry Lester? Yeah, he's out on a good line. Good enough line to to get the shot. He has the weight, though. Lacking one major ingredient. Foreign territory. And I'm not sure if he's restricted anything here. I think it still could be three shots. This would be absolute disaster for Darren Gordon. Rodney Bates... We wait in anticipation. That is a triple. And Ray Pierce, we are not worthy. Uh, the weight control was phenomenal. There was only one bad result for Ray here was the back cut the jack. He played it to perfection. Nice kiss off Darren's back bowl. Just squirt that jack out to the wing. And Darren, when he played that bowl, he wouldn't have played a bowl as far as I know. Uh, in his semi-final and any stage of this match out near that, that no. territory. And we didn't see it yesterday at all. So a lesson learned uh, in your roll-up or any opportunity you can get, you've got to practice those shots, build some confidence around them. Even at Clubland, week to week in your practice, don't be just rolling up to a jack down the centre of the rink. You've got, got to be training and practising the situations that come up and you know turn you off from what you know, and, and that is playing draw shots down the centre. As soon as that jack moves off centre, you've got to have the confidence as though the jack would be down the middle. And as you can see there, Darren out to a foreign line, foreign grass, foreign foreign distance, and couldn't quite get it done. Nice reply here, though. And good on Darren. He is really fighting hard. He's trying to stay in this match as Ray Pierce shapes up for his second delivery. Just maybe a bit of noise there in the crowd. Ray Pierce has just been red hot in this match. A big final, and what a time to put a performance like this together. There's a reason why he took down Aaron Sheriff, the defending champion. And some of the comments before the tournament that you, if you're going to win, you might have to go through Aaron Sheriff. And he has gone through Aaron Sheriff, and he's gone through the gap and settled in beautifully. Yeah, I think he's made two there, Val. Darren just stiff to have his bowl sitting how it is, but Ray, he knew, especially with the jack location, if he misses that blue bowl, he settles in around the tee. Darren's got about 18 inches of room for shot. He's got to back himself to draw it, if not start building some form of head. Hands a little bit slumped here. He's going to miss under. He's missing under, but what's he got? Uh, still probably two. Yes, it is. So I think we'll see something similar from Ray. Forehand. Get in behind the jack. Just inside that back blue bowl of Darren's. Sitting there at six, uh, 7 o'clock. Is he making it? Not quite. So pulling up short there. So a nice little opportunity for Darren. Backhand. Sit the shot bowl. Trail the jack. Yeah, I like this aggression. Yep. Lots of opportunities. Lots of things to work off. Bowl clean or jack. So he's made one, depending if these yep. back bowls stayed in. So Ray Pierce is, has gone into the ditch. So that's not a touch-up. So 
that's been moved. So now Rodney Bates will mark where the Jack is for Ray to draw to the ditch. But the way he's been playing, would not be surprised if he did. Beautifully done by Darren Gordon. Yeah, nice weighted shot. Right in the zone. He's a bit disappointed. He wanted to go clean with the Jack, but doesn't matter. He's still holding one. Ray Pierce watches intently. Is he going to have the line here, Barry? I think he's under. He needs a... Oh, he needed weight in the end. Yeah. He was flirting with that front ball, so Ray won't be happy with that. But this is what he needs, Darren. If he can get a multiple here. Yep. If he can get a second and just get on the board. Nice. Good release. Loving that yep. track. If anything, he might be slightly over. He's trying hard. Needs it to pull up. He does. He needs this second shot. It's moving. It's He's stopping. Done it. It's stopped. And a little fist pump there. He's on the board in the second set. And Darren Gordon trims the margin. Back from three down to just one down. Three, two, second set. Ray Pierce leads. And that mat is right up, Barry Lester. <laughs> he couldn't wait to put that mat down nope. on the shortest length possible. Darren's pretty... <laughs> Good celebration there. So we've played nine ends in this contest. And that's only the second end that he's won. Yeah, Darren was pretty keen to put that mat down and 100% get back to a short length. Let's see where this jack goes. Might be going as short as possible. But the jack is going to go pretty close to the tee here. So let's see how Darren Gordon can dictate things to start this third end of set number two. He trails by one as he looks to get himself a foothold into this final because Ray Pierce has been red hot so far. Yeah, lovely um, conversion and then the draw. We made up for what happened in the final end of the, uh, of the opening set where he wasn't able to get that shot that's right, Val. You know, you're not going to get this level, Australian, open, uh, Australian indoor title, you're not going to get six feet to draw the shot very often. And he just couldn't quite pull it off in that stage of the match. But he backed it up, to especially drive draw. That's, a, that's another shot, especially players are playing a lot of drives or weighted shots, that drive draw. Um, you've got to back it up with the touch. Yeah, well, he learned his lesson and he did exactly what he needed to do with that final bowl of end number two of set two. So the Victorian from Dunkeld, what correction has he made here? That's enough. That'll do for shot. But Ray Pierce needs no more invitation, and we've seen that time and time again this afternoon here at Club Tweed. So he's trying to break Ray's rhythm here, play a new length, changes all the angles. It's worked so far. Darren holding one. Ray not quite finding it so yep. far. So now yeah. Darren's sitting down, which does help. Ball's going to be hard to displace, so he's changed hands here. Yeah, nice aggressive line. Giving this a chance. Just needs to be careful. Oh, he's hot. got it in the heart. Well, that's exactly what he wanted. Made, made two out of it, but unfortunately, it's a very inviting head for Ray. going to get into this. You see Ray extend his arm straight and then rips into it. So off he goes. He's very close here. Not far. That jack has gone. Has it stayed in bounds? Well, if it's in bounds, guess what? Darren's been out there before. I'm sure he's going to learn from his experience. He has. Oh, it's out. Out of bounds. Darren's so. got one on the tee. So Darren Gordon controls the tee just. It's very close. He should come down and have a look yeah, at Yeah, he needs to just to assess what's going to happen. He's taking a wider stance look, and he and Ray are going to walk down and just inspect the situation. So here, Val, so, that, you know, it's quite evident that it's very, very unlikely. It's just the way the head's shaped up for Darren to score another shot here. Yep. Ray's bowl's locked in. So it's very unlikely for Darren to score another shot here. What he doesn't want to do in the quest to do that 
is make this shot any easier for Ray. So he doesn't want to come down and lay Ray down or, or um, sit off those two shot, um, first and second shot holes. So he just doesn't want to make this head any easier for Ray. As it sits right now, that front blue up on the centre line, two feet out, is good cover for the head if Ray's slightly off target. But Darren here, he might risk it. He might try and play up through the hole and draw another on the backhand. Just does, for me, just doesn't want to shift that front bowl on the centre line off the target. He's out there. Uh, he's going to finish high. If he stays on and changes things, Ray's got a toucher in the ditch. Needs to stay on. He has. That is right on the edge. So Ray Pierce now. All of a sudden, Darren scores here. Three all. Somehow. Didn't look like it was going to go that way, but with Ray controlling the previous end. So Ray's bowl just on the front of the shot bowl, Darren Gordon's. Forehand looking for this cannon. He wants to hit his own bowl square here, Ray Pierce. If he clears the front or blue onto his own, he's done. Oh, well, you know what? He's gone from one down to one up to one down in a split oh. second. It was mightily close, <laughs> and he was watching that Darren Gordon bowl precariously sit on its edge and, and wondering which way it was going to go. But Darren Gordon breathes a sigh of relief, and all of a sudden, we are tied in his second set. And Darren Gordon wins a second end in a row for the first time in this match. Three apiece after three in set number two, Ray Pierce took the opener 14 to 1. But he'd still be very confident this is going to be another short end. So he's changed where the mat is. Yeah, he's brought the max mat slightly back, but the, the length of the, of the end isn't that much different. Still around that sort of 24, 25 metre mark. But how's that? You don't see that very often. Ray actually had shot for a split second. His bowl fell out. Ray's bowl fell. Darren's bowl fell in. Yeah. And Darren, everything was moving. Yeah. But it's like musical chairs with who had shot. So another good start here from Darren Gordon. And he's starting to lift. Yeah, and, and that's where tactics is so prevalent here. You know, Darren said, no, Ray, I'm, I'm not going to go and play ditch ditch, which you're absolutely loving and I'm not. I'm going to go mat up, short jack, and just give it a crack. And I can walk off today going, you know what? I tried to match it with one of the best and play things on my terms, whether I come away with a win or not. And he's playing his favourite length, and his effective rate has definitely gone up. And as this second set, he's been right on the money for a lot of it. This one's gone a similar spot to his opening bowl, but again, it's behind the jack, so it could be handy and it can be used later on. The trophy's there in the background of Ray Pierce. That's what we're playing for. Damien Delgado keeping him guarded at the moment. As Ray takes shot. Darren switching to the backhand. I'm not quite sure why. His first two bowls weren't too bad. Was he looking for the trail, possibly? I can only guess that, but he's just going to slide through. Exactly where his other two are. It's not a bad look. It's just down, though. Yep, won't be shot. Where does Ray put this one? Barry, what's the what's the scenario for him? Yeah, he's just going to play forehand, looking just to fall inside the back blue bowls of Darren's. Count and cover. Didn't seem he got it away the best he'd like to for, for Ray. I think the, uh, it's going to just pull up. It just seemed to grip it a touch, and he's just going to fall short. So Darren Gordon is an opportunity here. Trout the jack 18 inches for four. Something similar to his last. Good body language here. Yeah, he liked it very, very soon after his release. And there's a reason why it's coming. It is coming. Wow. It is just passing. Look at the angle of that bowl. Oh, he had all four of them in a similar spot. So Ray Pierce now just a dead draw for two. 
just missing on the high side. Great look there for Darren. He's what he's doing though is he's giving himself a chance. Yeah, all four bowls in the scoring zone. Look at the facial expression there. He knew how close he was. Uh, Ray Pierce, 18 inches will do. Yep, just needs to get one in the count here, and that's two. For a man of this standard, this is definitely one of those plus one bowls. We saw Chris Couchman miss a couple of them this morning against Razor. I don't think he's done it. He's not overly keen on it with his body language and a bit of a shake of the head. Just the one indicated by Darren Gordon. We going long again, Baz? Oh, it has to, yeah. Ray, well, Ray has to get this length back on his terms. Yep, one it is. So Ray Pierce regains the lead in this second set. He leads it 4-3. It's only the second single that he's picked up of the uh, the plethora that he's, the plethora of ends that he's scored on. Ditch to ditch. There you go. The Jack's finally on the tee. I think Ray's been searching for that with about three or four Jack rolls today. And here we go. Ditch to ditch. Backhand. Longest possible length we can be going for. Ray Pierce. Very, very nice delivery. Full extension. Great body weight through the release. And over ditch to ditch, you need all the help you can get. Pendulum, body weight, forward momentum. And Ray, he's a good exponent of that. Always shifting forward through the release. And he can play ditch to ditch so well. And that's why he's choosing this length. Darren Gordon's up for the task. He Has he got enough weight? He's close. It's just going to drop short. But the line was looking all right. Oh, perfect line over that distance. It's a nice little cider for Darren, though. Or well, the man they call Cat. Yes. But how many lives has he used up already this morning or this afternoon? Ray Pierce. If he turns this over the jack, it's perfect. Nearly perfect, but not bad. Still, will be enough for two. Darren Gordon. What can he reply with? Remaining on the same hand, on the forehand. He's, he's having a good look at this, Darren. He's trying very, very hard here. Good intent. He misses his own. He's close. Well, gets he's right onto his own. Turned it up, but has it turned it up far enough? He wanted to fall over. I might be favouring that for shot, Barry. Well, Mark has put up the red paddle, but it's not much in it. Put it that way. No, shot, shot ball. ball. Mark at Rodney Bates is indicating that the shot bowl is the first one that Ray Pierce put down. Yeah, so Ray just looking to turn his nearest bowl over the jack, and if he's a bowl tight, sit the blue bowl of Darren's. And this is what he's trying to play. He's very close. If he can sit that blue, he makes three. Oh, oh Ray Pierce. <laughs> Inches, well, millimetres from perfection. So close. Darren Gordon doesn't need to do much else than what he's done with his last couple. This one's a bit tighter in his line. Yeah, it's going to come across. What will he get? He shook it. Yep. Didn't get it far enough. Oh, that was a handy back bowl if it stayed on. Just right. falls into the ditch. So one bowl each left to come in this fifth end. Pierce leading 4-3, having won the opening set, is one set away from becoming the Australian indoor champion and booking a ticket to Guernsey next year, April 21 to 27, to represent the green and gold. Ray Pierce, backhand, same bowl, sit the blue for three. If not, just turn his shot bowl over the jack. Chasing after this one. He's on a higher line. So now he needs the shot bowl over the jack. Or oh, just draw another. Not quite. But again, two, goal, two bowls in good homes at the front. 
two bowls in good homes at the back. He's performed brilliantly. Darren Gordon has been in the area, however. Can't afford to play this too quick, Darren. That's the right way. Doesn't want to remove both blue bowls. And his line is better than what his previous bowl was. He needs the jack here. All the bowls solid for two. He is close here, Darren Gordon. Jack solid. He's played it. Got it. One down. The last bowl of Ray Pierce's. And that's where the bowl, uh, I think before, if it had have stayed up on the edge, that shot to Darren Gordon. But good call, Val. Absolutely. Alas, it wasn't. And it is one to Ray Pierce. Yeah, you're spot on there. That uh, third delivery of Darren Gordon's, if it stays on the green, it's shot. As you see, just uh, grabbed the jack then and kicked off into Ray's bowl. He needed it in the heart. And Ray Pierce picks up a single. And Ray gives his leg a really good tap there to say, well done, Darren. That's a great shot. Ditch to ditch. And uh, he's really, really playing well, Darren. He's, yeah, he's lifted, hasn't he? Yeah, he's settling now a little bit more better on these longer ends. Smith Atkinson, the women's singles champion, watching on. Ray Pierce. The Ray Pierce show today, it seems. Beautifully done. Bit shorter than the last end. Didn't quite get it on the tee. Darren Gordon on the backhand now, Baz. Yeah, he's really good here. And if it gets down for him, he'll be a chance. Well, he's not far off at all. He just needs it to turn. That's a nice reply. The crowd certainly appreciated it. Still shot to raise up. It's been a really good set of bowls. Just missing his line with this one. He's not too pleased with himself, but he's got a steely resolve and he knows what correction he needs to make. The, lo the weight was pretty good. Just needs the, the line, as you said, Baz. Yeah, what I'm liking about Darren is his delivery is just still staying spot on. He's close again here, you know, he's just being, you know... Just a bit underneath here, I think. Yeah, just missing a bowl type, but yeah, he's just technique everything looks really stable and steady and but if he stays on the same hand now that bowl comes in handy doesn't it yeah it, because of the angles are not as sharp as the, the wider side it makes it more weight weight critical but ray i think with five three and a set in his pocket i think he'd be just trying to play good area bowls now not trying to open things up or make anything easier for for darren as darren as the head sits for darren he also run the risk of plucking his own bowl out, especially now Ray's got a fairly yeah. close third. And that's ended up in a pretty good position for Ray Pierce. Yeah, you know, Darren doesn't want to come down now with that sort of six feet again and half his own bowl out of the head. He's done the hard work in getting her there, so he's got to revert back to a solid draw shot, which he's doing. This is a better line, though. Yeah, he's just overweight, though. So, Darren. Gordon sliding past his own there. Ray Pierce, he's actually got a bit of a decision to make as well. He's currently two down at the right at the back. I personally can't see Darren playing big weight at this, but because if he clears his own out, he could be dropping a big multiple. But the problem is, yeah, Ray, if, if Ray Pierce doesn't put one, does, does Ray Pierce maybe invite him to do that? Well, the worst thing Ray can do now is play backhand and sit something next to the jack in front of his own bowl. So he doesn't want to protect Darren's bowl. Playing backhand here. Ray wants to get down now. Well, he's going to slide past into a good home anyway. So Darren, you are 5-3 down with three ends to play after this. That's not all bad. Currently looking at 6-3 down. You've got to back yourself to try yep. and just play this over the draw here. But the problem is he doesn't want to get too far behind because a drawn set is no good for him. He needs to be able to, you know, if he does stay behind, he needs to be within touching distance. So let's see. What are you doing in this situation, Barry? Uh, I think he's got to stick. He's got to think about his first bowl, what it took to get that close, 10 inches away. And if he happens to trail it, he trails it. But I'd rather be still in the game to try and win it than lose it. 
off your own bowling. And he's trying to play a weighted shot here, looking tight. for the shot bowl. And he's just under again. So he knew he couldn't be high with that weight. Pluck his own out for three down. So he's still in the game. Ray Pierce definitely in the box seat. One set up. And now leading 6-3. Yep. It's looking very, very good for Ray Pierce as he looks to win his maiden title here at the Australian Indoor Championships at Club Tweed here in 2023. Val Febo and Barry Lester joining you in commentary. We hope you've enjoyed the coverage over the last couple of days. It's been great bowls. We've seen some wonderful narratives in Reese Finn Young at 16 getting to the final. Only been bowling for four years and Samantha Atkinson only bowling for six years. The former swimmer, the Victorian from Druin to Richmond Union taking home the women's singles title. Ray Pierce looking to take home the men's singles. And what I really love uh, about the Australian indoor singles is the automatic invite back next year. Yep. So th there's a few different things that you get. You get a nice trophy, a nice title to your name, a ticket to the World Bowls Indoor Championships, and a ticket here next year. So we'll be seeing Samantha Atkinson as the top seed at the 2024 edition. And Ray Pierce or Darren Gordon at the top of the draw next year. Yeah, no, it's a great initiative. Once you win that strain title and you know you're back in the hunt for it next year, you don't have to go back to qualifying. I love that. Darren Gordon, thank you very much, Ray. I'm starting to enjoy these long ends. Even though he only just lost the one shot down there, Darren has been putting his bowls into those areas that have value. Uh, Ray, you never want to put Jack Eye Bowls down for Ray Pierce because he comes along and does that. It's superb. It is just superb. Ray Pierce continuing on his merry way. It's the beggar's belief sometimes that you can just be that good. Yeah, no, very, very solid play from Ray. Darren, he's trying to get down for this Jack. He's close. Going to get an edge. Play been, much better. There's been a few of those. Darren to try and give himself a hunt, in, be in the hunt to win the actual set and take it to a tie break. So will Ray try and be this bowl? He makes a two, or if he can somehow makes makes it, you know, fairly easier to play. So Ray knows that. He just wants to change the angles up, try and, you know, put something in the way or make it less easy for Darren Gordon. And he's done this, Ray Pierce, especially if he flops over. Well, that's perfect. Big weight here. He needs the jack.